Hello everybody, my name is Rusty and today we're going to be cleaning something that a lot of people overlook and that is Civil War case shot and canister. Now, a lot of you know what case shot and canister is, but to those of you who don't know, I'm going to well, give you a little explanation anyway. Case shot was a bunch of little iron or lead balls stuffed in a Civil War shell, like for instance a Hotchkiss shell or a Parrot shell, and it had a time delay fuse. And when they would shoot it, it would go right over the heads of the enemy, and the timer would go off and it would explode right over their heads, and send all these little pellets or balls right down on top of them, uh, killing them. Uh, canister shot was used when they were uh, attacking the artillery or, or, or coming to an enemy line. What they would do is they'd take kind of, it's, it's, I don't know how to explain it, or then it looked like a big coffee can, and they just stuffed it with as many iron balls as would fit in there. And they would put powder in there, and when they would fire it, the I guess you could I don't know, I'm not too well versed on my artillery terms as I should be. I'm I'm gonna call it a lid. I know it's not what it's called, but anyway, the lid would fall, uh, fly off, and all these balls would spray out, and it'd be like a gigantic shotgun pattern, and it was really devastating to enemy troops. So a lot of relic hunters find these close to battlefields or near where battles were or, or even the older relic hunters in the 1950s and 60s they'd find these on the battlefields and a lot of these go uncleaned uh, the ones you see on the left those are uncleaned as you can see they're they're really really rusted uh, they're not really attractive they're lumpy and the ones on the right and the ones in the jar those are the ones I've cleaned and uh, today I'm going to show you how you can do that uh, these particular canister balls came from Chancellorsville, Virginia. My dad dug these up in the 90s, and uh, he never cleaned them, so they got really rusty, really chunky, and, well, kind of ugly looking. So today we're going to clean them up. I'm going to show how you to clean them up, and uh, hopefully, um, yeah, I lost my train of thought here. But anyway, we're going to clean these up, and uh, we're going to get going right now. So, yeah. I'm going to stop talking now because I'm screwing up. All right, let's get going. All right, so what I use is I use an anvil. I place my uh, case shot or canister or grape shot, whatever I'm working on, onto the anvil. And you're going to want to have a sturdy spot to place the, the uh, ball on because anything that moves or wibble wobbles or, or, or anything like that is, is going to uh, absorb the shock of the hammer you're going to use to try and get the rust off the rust chunks off and uh, you don't want that you want to you want to uh, even if you don't have an anvil you're going to want to find something like an iron plate or iron something something that's uh, really strong and I wouldn't suggest stone either because stone will chip away but find something like this or like an anvil something you could use in place of an anvil and uh, you'll be good to go now, what I use is, I use a hammerhead like this, and I'm not sh sure how it's showing up in the camera, but uh, you can use any hammer you'd like, as long as it has a small point. Now, this is perfect for what I'm doing because it's a nice little rounded shape, really small. You don't want a big hammer. You don't, yeah, you don't want something like this. It won't work for you. So don't use that. Use something nice and small. So what I do is, I take the case shot, whatever I'm working on, and if you notice I'm not wearing gloves. I don't know where I put my gloves. If you want to find gloves, I suggest you do because I've smashed my hands a few times doing this and it's not fun. So what you really want to do is, now don't be, you, you have to tap hard. You, you can't be gentle with it, but you know, don't, don't go pounding on it either. So what you're going to do is you're just going to start tapping away. And that's going to knock off all the major rust concretions, or, or whatever you call them, I forget the term. Uh, I'm, I haven't learned my terms before making a video, I probably should have. So you can already see, I've knocked some of the rust off, and there is black. That is what you're trying to go for. You're trying to get to that black ball on the inside. And you have to turn it, turn it to a where the rust is and I would suggest wearing safety glasses because rust has gone into my eye before 
And that, once again, that's not pleasant. So safety glasses, gloves, and common sense. You know, don't go wailing on this thing. Don't, don't just start smashing because uh, you'll hit your fingers. You will. Now, a lot of you may have questions like, uh, is the hammer denting the ball in any way? No, this is not. As long as you are nice and gentle like I am now, you will not dent the ball. And I don't think you can dent this ball anyway. Because after all, it was fired out of a cannon at one point. It did explode at one point. So me hammering on it, I doubt highly it's going to have any difference. So as you can see, now I have a nice little round ball. Nice little round iron ball. Now, I have a bunch of these to go through, and I won't bore you with each and every one of them, but that's that's how you basically do it. And if you want, I'll show you again with a uh, more noticeable piece, one that has a lot more rust on it. That one right there, that is pretty rusty. So, once again, you know, the ball is right here, the rust blob is right here, so get rid of that rust blob first. Alright, rust blob is gone. So just start working on it again. Make sure you make sure you hit as much rust as you can. Just start tapping it any place you see a lot of rust. It it will fly off. See that that just fell apart in my hands. Sometimes it'll fly off in chunks, sometimes it'll just chip away very slowly. Sometimes you really have to stay at it for a while. This one, this this is working easy. I, I'm actually surprised. I thought because I was videoing this, this was all going to go haywire, and it, so far it hasn't. I should probably keep my mouth shut before something happens. So there we go. There's another iron ball. So now we got two of them. Now they have all their rust chunks off. So now we're left with what they originally looked like, little iron balls. Now we have one or two more steps to go through. And I'll get to that right now. All right, so what I do with them next is I, put, I take a, a jar of white vinegar. I mean, you know, you can put it in a cup or whatever, but just make sure it's not something you're uh, attached to. Don't do it in your wife's drinking glasses. Your wife will kill you. Now, I'm too young to be married. I don't have a wife, but I do have a mother, and she lets me know. So, uh, that being said, so you just take some white vinegar. Uh, it, it works better if you heat it up beforehand. Uh, put it in the microwave for like, you know, a minute or something. Make sure your wife ain't home, or otherwise she will complain of the smell. I've had an earful because of that before. So, uh, but you don't have to heat it up. Uh, you you could have it just, you know, room temperature. So what I just do is drop them in there. Just let them soak. Let them soak overnight, uh, two days. Uh, what the vinegar will do is, I don't know all the science behind it. I wasn't born with a PhD, so I'm not sure how to explain it very well. But basically, it, it eats the rust away and it leaves the iron. That's what you want. You want the rust gone. So leave that in there for... A while, depending on how much rust you knocked off with the hammer, you want to leave it there overnight or for two, one, two days, and uh, you know, take it out, rinse it off, and uh, once you're done with that, I'll take you to the next step. All right, so what you have to do next is you have to make sure they don't start rusting again. Now, there's different ways you can do this. Some people put nail polish on them, which to me seems a little too shiny. Some people put lacquer on it. Again, too shiny. What I like to do is good old WD-40. Alright, you can see the can. I'm not going to try to position it. But anyway, I use WD-40. What I do is I just put them on a plate and give them a little squirt and roll them around. Make sure they're covered in the uh, oil. And then I take a little uh, paper towel or napkin I just make sure it's dried off real good. And here you have a finished case shot, canister, whatever. It's now done. 
So now you can put this in your battlefield display. So this basically wraps up the uh, cleaning video. Uh, I know it wasn't much to look at and I might have been annoying because I didn't know what to say because uh, you know, I'm not reading off of a script so forgive that. Um, but uh, yeah, here I go rambling on again. So if, you, if you're having trouble with the rust after the vinegar, uh, you might want to try soaking it in lime away for about an hour uh, or, or CLR something like that and uh, if you're still having trouble knock it off with a wire brush a uh, nice little wire brush would work good and if you're still having trouble I just say ignore it it's at least better than what you had to begin with uh, this is certainly the case for my dad's canister shot because it was so rusted you know we thought it was uh, you know a, a metal cow turd that's how bad it was so I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you try this. Please let me know how this works in the comments. I'd really appreciate to see how it worked for you guys. And uh, I will stop blabbing like an idiot now, and I will sign off. And uh, thank you for watching.